Welcome back. And now, an enchanting duet, never ever done before. These two people have never performed before. Dr. John and Mavis Staples will now do Don't Let the Sun Catch You Crying. Woman, don't you share no crocodile tears. I'll never take you back in a million years. Don't let the sun catch you crying. Crying at my front door. You done mama dirty. She sure don't want you no more. Oh no, no, no. Don't let the sun catch you lying.
always been I've always been an enormous fan of of, of, of Max Payne. Uh, as have I. Well, Mac, you've been like you've been in a lot of interesting places, uh, musical and otherwise. Uh, uh, and in fact, I heard a story about you and Ronnie Barron being in a, in a, in a place one time that it. It kind of, uh, well, I guess you could say it made the made you the piano player you are today. And is that is there any truth in that? Uh? Yeah, that's true. I got uh, winged in the finger in a little motel yeah, incident down. Winged in the finger? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> pow. Uh, Shooter. Yeah, you got. It. I got. It. That's right. That's and uh, it kind of changed from a guitarist to a pianist that I try to be in these days. And. <laughs> That's a kind of instant career decision. Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> yeah. And that's great, you see, because, I, I mean, I've always admired your piano playing very much, and, and I've got a, got a bit of a background in piano, but it was just, you know, I had lessons when I was a little child. There nobody, was no gun no, play Nobody shot me or anything, you know. Maybe that's why I'm not, I'm not, I'm not up to your standard, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's, that, that was probably an example of someone being in the right place at the, the wrong time, which you is... <laughs>
During the 1930s and 40s, uh, the great pianists uh, Pete Johnson and Albert Ammons would dress in identical clothing and play boogie-woogie duets. Uh, unfortunately, these giants of the piano have passed away, and this extraordinary spectacle has not been seen for many, many years. Uh, the precise fingering and split-second timing required uh, make this one of the most demanding and dangerous pieces of music to perform. And only a handful of people left on Earth possess both the skill and the courage to attempt this almost extinct art form. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sunday night's own Boogie Woogie Twins. Yeah. Gentlemen. Fantastic guest this evening, Dr. John. Yeah. Yeah. Mavis Staples, superb. Jeff Healy, ladies and gentlemen. And, and of course, the, the Boogie Woogie Twins. The Boogie Woogie, the Ambassadors of Love. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, I don't, how did we do after time after all that? Was there enough time to fill in a, the entire show? Well, well, we just missed it by about three minutes. Uh, I think the, the reason to watch the show piece uh, came up a little bit short. Uh, so if you're watching us on tape, go back and look at those commercials you missed there. Very good, very artistic, yet another reason to watch the show. Yeah, there you are. Thank you all of our guests then. And I managed to get in a costume change. I think that was important. Uh -huh. And I think um, <laughs> maybe it's ought to take us somewhere. Well, why don't you take us there, Mavis? I'll, I'll take okay. us there. Okay, all right. I'll take you there. I'll take you there. I'll take you there. Ha-ha.